Hey yo, today we're going to be looking at overshooting cameras and jiggling cameras inside of Houdini. You can see an example of, of where I've used this in the past. Um, the nice thing about this is that it's not random, so each time it's the same and you can actually loop this, so that's what I did here. So let's get started. First off, just bring in a camera. So just control click camera to get it in the same position as uh, your viewport is looking at. And then we're going to tie our view to the camera for the moment. And um, I'm going to go like 40 frames in, let's say. And I'm going to click uh, Alt and then click onto X. And uh, this is going to be our final keyframe. I'm only going to be moving on X, but this will, you can apply this to, to as many of these parameters or as little of these parameters as you want, which I'll show you in a bit. So move this back to the first frame and then we're going to move this camera over a little bit and then I'm going to control click again and then we play it, there we go, we've got our thing it's moving, turn on real time but the uh, the motion of it isn't right because we want it to keep going essentially, we want it to look like it's not going to stop and that will allow the the chop net to kind of interpret it and, and make the camera overshoot because now it's easing, it's, it's coming down to a complete halt at the end. So if we shift click on this, we can bring up our, our animation editor, curve editor here, and we want the, the end curve to be, uh, where is acceleration, zero. So we want there to be no ease on the end and we can increase the ease here if you want. Um, just depends how abrupt of an ending you want to your sequence. So. Now you can see it looks super ugly, <laughs> but we're going to fix it. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to drop down a chop net. And now we're, since we're up here anyway, I'm going to put down another camera. Um, and this is going to be our chop camera. Don't need to set any parameters on it or anything because um, this chop net is going to apply the parameters to this camera. So if we just go up here and select chop camera for the moment, uh, then eventually <laughs> it will, you know, take form. So then we're going to want to bring in our camera, our initial camera. So we do object import and then do camera one. And I'm going to import the uh, position and rotation. So um, this is going to import every single attribute, basically. But you can output singular, just, just certain attributes if you want to. Um, and also you can select certain attributes here uh, if you only want position to be affected by this wiggle or whatever. And then I'm going to drop down a lag node which um, is an overshoot basically uh, and a lag. So uh, I, I think it kind of makes the, the jiggle look a little more controlled but um, you can obviously just you know bypass this node and you know test it out without and see which one you like more. Uh, and then after this, this is going to be the one that actually is going to add the overshoot, which is Jiggle. Um, and in this one, I don't think I changed much. I just turned down the dampening. Um, so the dampening is just kind of is going to do what it says. You know, it's going to make the move a bit softer, like when it when it actually does bounce. But um, I think it looks a little more natural if you just have it off. Up to you though. And then we're going to do export, and this is where we're going to export to our our camera. So in here we're going to need to bring in all our all our parameters. I'm going to do it in the right order. So you want to go to TX, TY, TZ and then RY, R, uh, RX, RY, RZ. And then you can just copy this and paste it here because it's coming from this camera up here. This is camera 1 channels and then path is camera 2. So we're going to select the chop camera and then we select uh, export and these two as well. But as you can see our chop camera is now taken uh, the form of our, our original camera. All these nodes you won't be able to change, it will just go back to the original value that was set by the camera one. But now if you play it we should have some sort of jiggle. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit extreme but you know you can obviously play around with these settings. Maybe bring the stiffness up a little bit. And bring down the range a little bit so we can... Yeah, that's looking nice. 
So yeah, pretty simple. And obviously, if you just wanna if you just wanna loop this, uh, then you can you can easily just go in the um, the curve editor and uh, loop it. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button down there. I'll see you in the next video.